All right, guys, so uh, earlier this year, we actually grafted some plums, and um, some of them took, some of them didn't, and this was a major learning experience for us, so it's going to kind of jump now to letting you guys see us learn through that process back in the spring, and I think it's a great opportunity for y'all to learn as well, and also it possibly be something that you can prepare for in the winter slash early spring, so um, go ahead and get out your notebooks now and uh, bookmark this, share it with some friends. That way y'all all can kind of learn together. So we will highlight that grafting and then we will come back and be planting the tree. Dean Family Acres. All right guys, so we've got our cuttings here. Um, let's open them up and see exactly what we got. We have a couple different varieties. Spring satin. I hear you, it's a panga. AU cherry plum. Guthrie. And WOPO. I'm gonna have to look up and see exactly what this one is supposed to be. I'll be honest with you guys, this is only my second time trying to do any kind of grafting. The other time it was with peaches, and uh, we'll see how they do, because that was just um, a couple weeks ago. So um, we're gonna see exactly which ones of these will work, and um, you know, just based off of where things are, I, I have also seen folks who actually grafted, say, here, and left this one here to make sure that the tree continues. Um, we will see. I definitely want to make sure. Again, I haven't lost anything on any of these. Um, and we want to just make sure that we're getting a good quality graft in a, um, a good location and trying to match the size as best possible. Ultimately, you can see that we got um, every single variety grafted. Uh, and we actually had everything make or survive all the way until um, summer and fall except for the Auburn cherry. So we'll be trying to find another graft of that. Um, now let's jump in and see exactly how things are going in regards to up planting these into the ground. All right, guys, so you can see the holes we've got here four of them right there that last one's a little bit off but um, this tree right here is actually a Bradford pear I believe they call it a calendly pear because it is uh, off an offspring from that and how I tell that is this right here got thorns on it and um, if you watched our video before where we actually were working with the backhoe to kind of clear up the property um, we actually cleared up around this tree and our plan is to graft this we're going to cut it off and then graft it this um, winter slash spring so uh, when we do that then that'll be either pear or apple I hadn't decided what we're going to graft got to talk with a couple people that i know and see what might be good to go along with what we already have but then we can have plums or plums right here on this side as well so um this will be great in regards to continuing to expand we got muscadines, blueberries, and be some more blueberries here. We took out the redbud tree that was on the backco video as well. Speaking of that, if y'all hadn't watched this video of that, check it out up here. Um, but we cleared that out, so we got plenty of space coming all the way across as close as we want to get to the house in regards to any kind of fruit production. All right, guys, so you can see we've got our four holes here. They're pretty straight until this one got a little bit off. And um, we are going to be planting some plums up here uh, near our apple and pear trees. Um, you notice there's not a whole lot of spacing here. We want to kind of keep it somewhat tight together. Um, but I think we should have plenty of space. Uh, these are traditionally um, varieties that are um, very similar to wild or native plums. So let's get started and we'll see exactly what we have. But for now, we're going to be using um, basically homemade tomato cage type cages. 
And if the holes are big enough for deer to stick their head into, then we'll put some bird netting, um, some old bird netting I have around them. And if not, then we'll just leave them be. And I think they should be okay. Um, I'm also looking at potentially purchasing some tree tubes. I know Ronnie over at Early Bird Farms has used them and that's really aided in his trees being able to go straight up and um, just have some nice um, shape to them as well as deer protection. So um, we'll be working on that. Hopefully this fence does everything, but um, for now we're gonna be using those cages um, just to keep them off at least for this winter season. All right guys, so we've got an Odom plum. This is a Chickasaw uh, variety. And uh, so it's basically a native plum. And um, we got the rootstock from a friend of ours and we actually grafted it in two different areas and it took in both of those. Um, so uh, I think this will be our primary one that we want to use. But um, for now, we're gonna go ahead and plant it as is and we'll see how this takes off uh, here this coming year. All right guys, so we're gonna amend our red clay. As you can see here, it needs to be amended. Um, so we've used the backhoe bucket to dig a pretty good size hole, especially for basically a one gallon container. And um, we're gonna amend that soil with some pine bark soil conditioner that just helps with drainage mainly and then we've got some black cow uh, I will just make note if you're looking to save some money and I hate to give out all my tips because then I might miss out but you know what it's about helping everybody but if you are looking to save a little bit um, check your big box stores see if there's a ripped bag some of them now have policies that things have to be bagged if they have a ripped bag because some people decided to take advantage of that go out and just cut the bag and say hey listen i need the discount on this um people ruin it for everybody but y'all know that i'm preaching to the choir here but um just be patient check back by those box stores every couple of days and traditionally you will be able to find some um, at a discount sometimes half off or even more so we're going to get this soil amended and get our odom potted and then we will get our cage up to protect it from deer All right, y'all, uh, I have not had this out of the pot. It's been in it uh, almost a year now. Um, and I did up pot some of these, I forgot about that. Snail, we'll get rid of that, eating on the roots a little bit, but I think we look pretty good. You know, I will say this time of year, you don't wanna disturb the roots a whole lot. So I'm kinda just gonna look, see which direction we're gonna go. I think we're gonna go like this. Um, always pay attention which way your plant's growing. Don't just plant it because it was in the pot that way. It had a little lean to it. Straighten it up. I'm also going to kind of plant it on this side of the hole um, because uh, my holes are a little bit out of alignment using the back hoe, but it'll be all right. Again, that's pointing straight. There you go. And this is a graft as well. Again, we, we might take that off this year and use it as for something else, but for right now, we'll just leave it. So hopefully this makes sense in regards to what I was talking about. Plant it in which direction this is growing. Um, it had a little bit of lean to it, so I tried to straighten some of that out. And this other one we grafted really low. It's no problem. Um, but ultimately, if this one takes off next year, we'll probably go ahead and prune this off. That way we know anything coming out this low, uh, that is all the rootstock. Otherwise, it looks pretty good. Um, we're gonna get a post and we'll get our cage up. All right, guys. Got the basket. Let me trust that dirt a little bit so that I've got follow me all right there Like 
because it don't work like this. All right guys, so we've got our Guthrie here. We're gonna put it next to our Odom. I will say that this is the rootstock. Um, it's just a matter of what I actually took. This is where we grafted here. So um, when this takes off, then we'll prune all this off next year. But I wanted to leave some nurse stock on it. Decent roots, not the greatest, but again, remember this is our main one and we wanna try and plant this as in line as possible. helping is it loud huh all right cover your ears do like this cover your ears ready you cover them Check it. Okay. Oh, nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got the net up, should be, let's just say deer resistant. I won't say deer proof, but deer resistant. 